<laughs> Listen, I only count about two relationships. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you ask me, I'm only in one. I'm new. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Dunks, and I am back again with another freaking video! And in today's video, I have my sister, Jahara, again. Hi! And it's definitely going to be a different kind of video tonight because <laughs> we're not going to do any makeup. We don't have any makeup on. We are in our jammies. We're in our pajamas. We are going to talk about deal breakers. Yeah. I am trying to date. <laughs> and it sucks. It's really hard. Um, I've been out of the game for a while. And I feel like I might be having to stay out of the game. Because this is rough. I don't know how you guys do it. Shout out to you daters. This is not it. That's because I'm it. not doing it. So. Yeah. And now that I'm not doing it, I just, I don't have any effort to do it. I don't, don't want to meet new people. I just want like the same people in my life just to act right. This is a huge one for me. Like, Deal breaker number one says, do not ever. call me Ma or Shawty. Ever. Ever. In your life. Because the way I feel about it is, I'm not your mother. I have no kids. That, I'm not your mother. And I'm probably taller than you. So don't call me Ma or Shorty. <laughs> That's your reason? What? I'm probably taller than you. You can't call me Shorty. I'm not taller than you, but I don't also want to be reminded that I'm short. So don't call me that. Ma and Shorty is not on my birth certificate. Don't call me Ma. Please, like, if you call me Shorty, I might roll my eyes at you and tell you not to call me. If you call me Ma, I'm going to walk away. Please, Quickly. Quick. Swiftly. And in a hurry. Deal breaker number two. If we are cohabitating, or I am frequently... Going to the bathroom at your house. Do not leave the toilet seat up. Don't do it. I know that I am capable of putting it down, but so are you. <laughs> I'm not the one who put it up in the first place. I don't, I don't have, have to put it up. Exactly. I don't have to put it up. So I feel like if you had to put it up, you should have to put it down. And I don't want to fall in. Like, what if I have to pee quickly? <laughs> and I go to sit down and I don't pay attention to the fact that it's up and I just fall. <laughs> that is disgusting. But when it comes to my toilet, I just need you to close it all down. Like, it's, we'll she's both a, do it. She's don't put the seat up at all. Don't put the, I mean, you can put the seat up to pee, and I'll put the seat, you know, the seat gonna be down for me to pee, but close that little top, the little topper. The cup. Close that. She doesn't want to see in it. I don't want to see in it. Deal breaker number three <laughs> is not being available. Now, wait. There are, this means something, okay? Listen, we sometimes have needy moments throughout the day. If I FaceTime you at one o'clock in the morning, <laughs> Usually, there are a few reasons. A, she's drunk. I'm drunk. Two, I'm bored. Or three, I really genuinely need you. <laughs> I need you to always assume that it's the third and then just let me <laughs> eat your heart and let you know that it's not. No, Jahara. Yes. I mean, yeah, but one o'clock in the morning is an extreme. Like, one of my friends that I don't even know what they're called. If I call you at one o'clock in the morning, you would I would answer. I answer. I answer for a whole different reason because you think I'm someone dead. in my past would call me at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. It would be something really crazy. But I know certain people I can't call. If I call you, you don't answer, and then I text you six times SOS, <laughs> I'm actually dying. You're okay? crazy. <laughs> like, I'm not going to do that. You are crazy. I'm not going to do that unless it's important. So I'm just like, just be available. Just be willing to be available. Like, just try. So sorry in advance for this one. Um, it is just a standard that we has been set and demonstrated for us for a very long time. Yep. Um, but not being handy is a deal breaker. Now, let me clarify. There's two things that we want to say on that. Yes. One, not being handy in the sense of you don't know how to use tools. You don't know a screwdriver from a drill, which is still a screwdriver, but you don't know like a flathead. From like a Phillips head. From a Phillips head. That's the problem. Number two, not being handy, is you don't know how to use your resources to fix the issue. If it's broke and you can't fix it, I need you to know how to get it fixed. Exa at least. I'm like, not saying you got to get on your hands and knees and do it, but like, know who to call. Or at least think to Google to find out who to call. Don't right. let me know you don't know what you're doing. Right. If it's a, if it, whoa, I'll put a stop on that. If I got a flat tire... The fact that I know how to change it and you don't yeah, is going to be a flat tire, I need you to be able to help me out. I don't need you to be able to Google or YouTube how to mm -hmm. fix it. So that's where I would draw the line. Yeah, if I but can I'm do also, it, I need you to be But able. I'm also not asking you to be an electrician. I don't need you to rebuild a house. I don't need it you would to be know. nice if you could lay a floor. 
Only because my dad can I, lay a floor. <laughs> and because I've seen him do it. Exactly. I can do it. I'm also not asking you to redo my whole bathroom, but, but if you can, bonus. It's a good one. Deal break number five. If Absolutely. I see your drawers at any moment, at any moment in your jeans and your sweat, unless you're like literally like lounging in your drawers, I shouldn't see your drawers. Therefore, the conclusion, deal breaker number five is baggy pants or saggy pants. Because y'all have got this new thing where you wear tight pants that you just don't pull up. Right. And I get, mm, I know I said no draw, Sean, but I get the little band. I get your band want to be shown because you want to say polo or whatever. But when your band start to get into the green or the red. My favorite is like when their whole tush is like sitting on top of their jeans. That's what I'm talking about. And then the, and then the front is like so also hanging. Guys, that's not cute. I feel like if, I'm, if, if we got to run, you not going to make it. <laughs> also, don't put a belt on with the saggy pants. What is the point? They got See, diaper booty. The front seam of your pants don't go where your knees are. <laughs> I know that they're saggy. Your pants should fit at your hip. Yeah. If they don't fit, buy new pants. Exactly. If you just lost weight, buy new pants. Let me know. We can go shopping together. We can pick the pants out together. Because some... Mm, I'm, not gonna, get, I'm, not, I'm not gonna get to the next one. I'm about to be like, because some of y'all can't. So, number six. <laughs> oh, this is such a good one for me. Okay. <laughs> Guys, 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 guys. Okay, this is a two-parter. So part one is, personally, I like a man who can dress. I understand that not everybody is into fashions. However, if you're going to be in my life, I need what you wear to be important to you, right? Because you want that to be important to me. Part two is that I need you to match my energy at the function. At all functions. So if we're going to the mall... We need to both look like we go into the mall. When I text you and say, is it a jean day or a dress day? If I say, if you say dress, don't roll up on me with no Jordans, <laughs> jeans, and a t-shirt. Or slides. Because I think that that's not fair. The energy. Just the energy. Effort. So if you say, let's go on a date, and I say, is it a dress up date, and you say yes. First of all, all dress, no, 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 we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Not all, not all dates are dressy, but if you say yes to the dress up date, I and I tie. roll up, and you got joggers on, I want to I'm upset. I want a tie. I'm okay if you don't wear a tie only because sometimes there's a really suave way to be dressed up and fancy yes. without a tie. Like you can button your shirt up and then like leave that little top part Oh, open. Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Ooh, that's another chills. video. <laughs> there's like a point and then there's a, a 1A to this point. <laughs> so the point is your dental game needs to not be on the struggle. Now, compassion. I understand that dental is expensive. Not all of us had it grow. Well, not everybody else had it growing up. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Um, and so sometimes you have to like wait till later in life when you're on your own to kind of get those things fixed and all that. But I feel like a dental game. Not only do you have for me. Not only do you have to have like you see they gotta be super like they can be straight. But you have to have like a good sm a great smile. Yeah. yeah. Uh, white, preferably. Or in the process of white. We can I mean, no, because they got toothpaste, too. so yeah. no, you don't have an excuse for your teeth to be yellow. I try. Sometimes gaps are kind of cute. I had a very big gap growing up. It's still somewhat there. Um, gaps mean nothing because that's not your fault. One A for that is, and this is a bit of, this is mean, I guess you could say, and I'm sorry for whoever this offends, Thing with adults with it. braces, and I know that that's unfair. <laughs> This is all her. This is nothing. I only. understand. So now, like Disclaimer. I said, I understand that maybe this is the only time in your life where you've had insurance or been able to afford getting your teeth fixed and all of that goodness. Call me as soon as they come off. The day they come, I'll take you to the dentist to get them off. But I can't do anything with you before that. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen. Please hear us when we say this. I'm not saying, <laughs> before I say this, I'm not saying you have to have the best education. I'm not saying that you have to have 10 degrees. Have to have like, like multiple degrees, but you know, I'm not saying that you gotta be a novelist or an English major. Comma, but. Comma, but. I don't care if we're texting. If we're, even if we're texting, even if we're talking in person, if you have bad grammar, I'm cutting all ties. First of all, I'm petty enough to fix your grammar with an asterisk. If you say, something about there there and there and you use the wrong there but if you're like i'm trying to go over listen. there t-h-e-i-r i'm putting the asterisk i'm correcting you then i'm gonna send it make sure you get it block you i'm sorry 
That's all. Right. I'm gonna copy and paste the whole paragraph. I'm gonna edit it and <laughs> send you back the paragraph. I'm only fixing your mistake once. So I. And there's no such thing as oh I had a drunk moment. No, you knew better. So bad grammar definitely is it. I'm not saying you had to have punctuations and commas and the correct spacing and things like that. You don't have to indent after every paragraph. If you write a paragraph, you don't got to space out your thoughts. I'm not asking for that. I need periods where they go. Just don't make me have to work super hard to read the text. I need periods. I don't need commas and all that kind of stuff. Just periods so I know where they're like the sentence ends. Yeah. I don't need capitalization and all that kind of stuff because I don't use those when I'm texting. But, but don't make up words that aren't real. Don't text me like we're on my face. With the threes. Yeah. <laughs> a K as a C, I'm not dealing with it. Yeah, like you want to say no, but you put K and O. There's just W. Just throw the W up there. <laughs> this is new better as well. We got a whole keyboard. Right. Got like it's way easier now. Okay. We got a QWERTY. You can even talk into it. I feel like people assume that because we were raised a certain way or because we are we, quote unquote bougie, bougie or we come all that we bougie. need so much. I tell people all the time, I have a dad. Okay. I don't need another one. I do not. I don't need you to sponsor me. I don't need... I don't need you to spoil me. No. Had it in my past, abused it in my past, right. and I don't need it anymore. Because to me, that doesn't represent Don't try to text me, me and tell me that I'll treat you like a princess. Sorry, already fulfilled. Right, daddy's got that on lock, and I mean daddy. That with a D. 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 <laughs> Match my venting. So what that means is, like, if I am going through it, which happens... I've been no, a lot. I've been a lot because I need to get everything out. My life is crazy and the only way to not get insanely overwhelmed with what my life looks like is to get it out of my head. So if I'm venting and I, there's just a lot going on and I am visibly like genuinely frustrated, I'm not just being a brat, like don't Match just it. okay me. Don't just, oh babe, me. You'll like, be okay. Like get over it. I, I need, need you when, I need, I'm, when I'm on death well, content. We're going to act it out. Ready? She's going to be the girlfriend. I'm going to be the boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> I am so mad at blah blah blah. Okay, so this happened today and my coworker was like blah 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 blah. Okay, what? And, yes. And then you wouldn't believe this like blah what blah, blah, blah blah. What happened? Yeah, okay, so basically that that's what I need. Also, but I also need you to be here. When I'm on here, I need you here. When I'm here, we need to be here. And also it's vice versa too. If yeah. you're on deaf contact with somebody to piss you off, I'm ready. What's that? Last but not least, a deal breaker is your beard game now this is also going to be featured in the video where we talk about things that are deal that we like that we like so it's a deal great. breaker was awesome. bonus points bonus points if you and i'm not talking i'm talking about deal breakers if it does not connect let it go and i get that you're trying to let it grow in but if you've been growing this beard since you've been alive <laughs> So, yeah, don't get an edge up on you. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Let's back it up. Because if your daddy ain't got a beard connected, <laughs> obviously, my guy, you not going to have a beard that's connected. So maybe you should hold on to the fact that this goatee is going to be it. This little mustache is going to be it. So, so we asked Instagram. And if did. you don't follow us yet, my name is Ayo Dunks, of course. If you don't know how to spell it, what's wrong with you? Because it's about, about this video right now. And hers is... Sunkissed underscore lifestyle. So Ariel said, if you have kids, that's a deal breaker for her. I think, Ariel, that's fine because I think it's just like in this day and age, it's kind of hard to find those, but they're out there. They're I think that there. that should be a deal breaker because if you genuinely do not want kids and right. you guys go into this relationship and you are all on the same page and then one day he's like, all right, babe, let's start trying. And that's not something that you want. There's, it's That's not something you can get past. Like yeah. you, you shouldn't be forced to change your mind on that if that's not what you want. You're not going to be an effective parent if you don't want to be one. And Kayla's answer is it's a deal breaker if you only pop five times. I'm letting everybody else's imagination go with that one. I'm not going to speak on that one. We're going to keep going. What's your say? Okay, I got a few. Um, so one person said if you don't like my TV shows. I'm okay with you not liking my TV shows because I understand that I genuinely like Ratchet TV. And that is not for everybody. I just don't want to hear you complain about it every time I put it on. Um, liars. Well, obviously. I felt like don't, that wasn't a need yeah, to say, really. Don't lie. Um, somebody who's not open-minded. That's fair. If you are a very liberal type yes. person, you I, need somebody who who's matches also, that. Yeah, it's also a liberal. I know people say, like, opposites attract, but there are certain boundaries where, like, you can't... Sorry, everybody. You can't have voted for Trump and think that we together. But, but Trump specifically but Trump represents so a mindset... <laughs> And I don't want to be polar opposite from my mindset. Exactly. So there's no like, and there's no way to tr you can't sway somebody's opinion. Yeah, and we're not just saying like, oh, only politics. Even if it's like the little things, like, like there's one on here, for example. 
Somebody said difference in religion or doesn't believe in God. If God is very important to your life and the right. other person is atheist, uh, I I personally don't like the whole I can change him or I can get him to like it because I feel like that's something that you need to conclude on your own. Like you right. need to want to be in this place. You need to love Who, Jesus because you want to be Buddha be or, Muslim yeah. or whatever it is that you love. That needs to be your belief system that you came to because that's genuinely what you want to be connected to um somebody else said philosophical differences so along the same thing like yes. just having the same mindset um someone who can't express how they're feeling and can't communicate or rather won't um controlling listen i can go on and on and on and on and on and on and on so that we don't tell our business we're gonna say don't be controlling don't be controlling <laughs> And that doesn't mean that you can't have an opinion about... There is a difference between having an opinion and telling and being what I can and can't do. Right. So this is a video on our deal breakers and what we personally feel are our deal breakers and what some of you guys have gave feedback to us about your deal breakers. <laughs> With that being said, make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. All of those buttons are down there. They're definitely down there. Hit the subscribe button. Also hit the bell so you can get notifications. And with that, I think we are done. Whoop.